A Georgia pet owner wants answers from a Chickamauga kennel. He says his dog got pregnant during her time there and later gave birth to seven puppies. This involves Savage River Kennel, which is on West Cove Road in Walker County. The owner tells us that along with getting pregnant, his dog uh, got a parasite during her time at the facility. But the contract the owner signed says the kennel is not responsible if a pregnancy occurs for dogs in their care. Well, today, News Channel 9's AC Barker spoke with the dog's owner and did some digging into the kennel's license. AC. Yeah, Josh Kim, behind me is 10 month old Nala, who is now the mother of those seven puppies you see right there. This after her owners say she went to a training facility in Chickamauga. Now, while her owners say they want compensation, the contract they signed says the kennel is not responsible for this. Of course, I'm in shock for her. Shield says he and his wife sent Nala to Savage River Kennel back in January for four weeks of training. He says there were no signs Nala was in heat before sending her off. We feel like they, that it, there was not the supervision that she, she says that there is there at the place. In this contract, you can see where it says the trainer will notify the owner of the first sign of heat. When we tried to talk to the owner of Savage River Kennels, she wouldn't comment. But her attorney later sent us a statement saying the dog showed no signs of being in heat. The contract that Shields signed also states that Savage River is not responsible if pregnancy occurs, the cost, or homing the puppies. Jason Smith with the Georgia Department of Agriculture says Savage River Kennels doesn't have a current kennel license, but did have one in the past. Apparently they got to a point where they weren't meeting the requirement, not on the bad side, but they just weren't doing enough to meet the requirements to have a license. Um, so it appears they had stepped out of that. So they stop doing the business, which means they didn't need a license any longer. But as you can see from their recent Facebook posts, Savage River Kennels has posted about training dogs for months. I have to do a little more investigation. So and the state says they have to have an official complaint to investigate any unlicensed activity. We pass that along to the Shields and we will keep you updated. Kim. I see. Thank you. Other news tonight. The Georgia Department of Agriculture says the kennel reapplied for a license two months ago, but have not paid their fees. So they are still currently unlicensed. The kennel's owner also says the owner first mentioned the dog's parasite late last week, not during the exit interview in February.